Hi, Hi guys, guys and, and welcome, welcome to, to another, another Gunpla, Gunpla TV, TV episode. episode. My name is Evan. And I'm Asuka. And we're going to do reviews today. So uh, you might notice that Todd is not here today. Uh, so we have taken over the is show. Is this in practice? Oh, I guess it is now. <laughs> Hi guys and, and welcome, welcome to another, another Gunpla TV, TV episode. episode. My name is Evan. And I'm Asuka. And we are going to do uh, some reviews for you today for some new items. Uh, you might not see Todd here today, but that's because he's out. So we have taken over the show today. So that's thank you right. for joining me, Asuka. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. It was, uh, I'm looking forward to reviewing these with you. So. Uh, uh, so we normally review on Thursday, but uh, since we actually have a long weekend this week, yeah, we actually have a four-day holiday. Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. So yeah, I'm not really sure what the holiday. I think it's Sports Day and Sea Day, so it's like some summer holidays. So we're gonna have a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off, which is nice. Yeah, we usually film every Thursday, but today is a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I was actually surprised these came in. I was expecting them to come in on a Thursday, and we wouldn't be able to film. But luckily, they came in yesterday i think yeah yesterday I yeah guess. so then we could actually i think a lot of these actually released either yesterday or today too so i think these are up for purchase probably yeah they should be yeah i think on so the side right now. i'm pretty sure i've seen a couple of these already being sold so i think they are uh so we're gonna take a look at these today so, yeah, yeah let's do it all right so first up we got uh let's see from one piece the Thousand Sunny Ship. It says the... Uh, land of Wano, Wano version. Yeah, Land of Wano version. So I think this is from the most recent season where they gonna go to a like Japanese country. Yeah, it looks like like they're wearing a Japanese outfit. Yeah. Japanese outfit. yeah, so they're all like samurai outfits and ninja outfits and stuff like that. I haven't seen One Piece in a long time, so I haven't caught up. So yeah. One Piece fans, please tell me how this is. Yeah, but, uh, correct <laughs> Yeah, so... <laughs> If, if we say uh, something wrong, please let us know. But it actually looks really nice. It's a very, very large kit, too. Yeah, wow. it is. Like, it comes in a huge box. Yeah, so it comes with a lot of things for the ship, too. So you get the huge uh, Thousand Sunny ship and a couple of the different boats it comes with, it looks like. Uh, like the, how many does it come with? Well, you got the big boat, and you also have the White Hobby mm. Horse Mini Mary and oh, the Shark okay. Submerge. It looks like a submarine oh. and two little mini boats. Oh, okay and a stand for your big boat it actually looks really cool too and uh a bunch of water slide decals and stickers and not only that you get all these characters too in their uh, japanese outfits so if you like one piece this is a pretty nice kit yeah but i feel like i've seen a lot of like this kind of I mean, this ship's kit before i think it's so still the same right i think so i think this one hasn't changed too much i think you're really looking uh at the at characters the changing okay. yeah but uh if you don't have one of these kind of things it's definitely worth looking at it's huge i wonder yeah. how big it is completed i'm kind it of it looks really nice and colorful yeah yeah like, it even does. if i'm not a one piece fan like i want to try that one out right i, I wonder how long i'm not making that one though <laughs> <laughs> Well, which one are you building, Oscar? Oh, like, speaking of which, like, I'm building this one. So this is the, I can't really see it, but it's a Riolu and Lucario kit. It's like, this one is like a brand new kit. Yeah, I think this one's brand new. They haven't been released before. Uh, so this is a set with both Riolu and Lucario. Uh, do you like Pokemon? Yeah, um, I used to play Pokemon Ruby for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the Diamond, so like, this character is pretty familiar, but it was like 10 years ago so Quite a I'm, while not, ago, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure but they seem really familiar like i remember i feel like this character or like i mean the small one riolu yeah um it's the the one i think he's from gen 4 i think he's from the ds ones if i'm remembering correctly he should be i think so like diamond <laughs> and pearl um i know this this guy's in smash brothers too so that's oh that's where I, I know, know about him. that yeah but yeah for like for those of you who are more familiar with this character like it comes with a psychic effect and the stand for the effect yes yeah, so you well. get a little blast yeah thing. and like what else uh, a little like, real yeah. um and i know last time we were looking at uh i forget which 
Pokemon it was, but it had like no stickers. This one does have stickers. I, oh. I think it's for the eyes. Though. Okay, so just for the eyes. Yeah, I think maybe. so. I think so. Okay. This one's definitely more complicated than the last one you did, the Gilgamesh. So yeah, this one like, be interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for the Gilgamesh, like it only has has like two runners. Yeah, it only had two. But right? when I open this one, like it There's has a lot. a lot. In comparison, yeah, this one has a lot more. But it's only ages six and up, so it'll be okay. Yeah, it should be perfect for beginners. Yeah. I'm still a beginner. <laughs> that's all right. That's right. Oh, this one too. I think um, you don't need the. Um, Nippers? Oh yeah, no, no glue, no tools, yeah. no paint. So that was you can even try that if you want. You just push them out. Ooh, okay. So that's right, even I'll quicker. try that one. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. I think the same thing for this guy too. Okay, so for this one we have Dragonite and Charizard. Yeah, that's right. You know your Pokemon. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like for this kit they have i mean this is a rebox yeah i think this one actually both of them came in sets beforehand i think they were of all the evolutions so you had like yeah. your charmander uh charmeleon and charizard all in one box mm -hmm. but this is like a versus kit so it's kind of a reboxed version or of just both. these two characters yeah 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 so if you don't have either of those and you like both of them that's nice uh but i think it's the same deal you don't need tools there are a couple stickers especially for the like eyes, no? yeah eyes definitely and it looks like his wings too are big sticker sheets uh, but it looks pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, also his for wings too. Yeah, yeah, definitely for beginners. I think this one's also sixes, six and up. Six so, and up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That one's nice. Perfect. And then next one is for me. Gundam. Yeah, Gundam. my specialty, Gundam Build Divers Re Rise, uh, which I think started up again. I haven't watched it since it started up again, but it was on hold for a while because of the coronavirus, mm. and so like they uh, didn't have. Okay, the so this. this one is from an ongoing. Yes, series. this one's from an ongoing series, but they did stop it for a while, and it was weird because like the kits were still coming out. Oh. Okay. So, like, even though the show wasn't still going, they still had the kids coming out, so I felt like it was a little bit spoilery, but what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so, I don't know if he showed up yet. He might have, but uh, he's based on the Age 1 Gundam from Gundam Age. So, he's kind of a uh, modified version of a older mm -hmm. Gundam okay. design. Uh, I really like his weird transparent beam cape thing he has yeah, here. Yeah, it looks like a weird, weird cape. Yeah, like he has this oh, huge nice, runner that's just all transparent pieces. So I'm kind of interested in seeing how that looks. I like the purple too. And he's got like a purple and orange and kind of a weird color scheme that you don't see often on Gundams. Mm, no. uh, but he's, I think he's the biggest kit I've done for this show so far. I've done like master grades and perfect grades before, like plenty of them, but for the show, I think this is the biggest one I've done so far, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, but like HE is like, is it the smallest? Yeah, uh, not the smallest, but uh, like there's also entry grades and even simpler ones, but this is probably the most mainstream simple one, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they can get pretty complicated. Uh, okay. So it's kind of a bigger box. And then okay, we have, we have this, one. this is the Grand Soar from, I hold on, I wrote this down. This is from the Neketsu Saikyo, Saikyo Gozora series. Uh, it's a 90s anime. Uh, yeah. Like I don't think this was in America, so I'm not sure if this is like a Japanese only show. But uh, I know there's a lot of these back then and even now of like these like combining robot, giant robot series. So I kind of like him. I want to look into this more, but he is a giant. This is a big kit, by the way. Like this is the same. Uh, Great. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one's like double the size. It's oh. nuts. But uh, this guy can transform into a Triceratops and a Jet. Uh, I forget what the name of them was. It was like Grand Jet and Grand so uh, Grand Ceratops or something like that. I think it's on there somewhere. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So he is huge. And not only on on top of that, he also can transform with some of the other kits in the series to become an even bigger robot. Mm -hmm. So I can't even imagine how big that would be. But it's probably huge huge like just building him i'm assuming he's probably around like this big and then you take him and then you, i think you combine him with either two or three other robots this one? uh yeah i think he turns into one of these okay so he gets really really big so if you like combining robots or if you're a fan of this series you probably like this this is a huge kit too yeah like i'm not a fan like i'm not really familiar with gundams but like based on the box and like the character design it looks yeah it's pretty old like you said in the 90s yeah right? it's really colorful very 90s mm -hmm. looking it kind of reminds me of like power rangers we had power rangers in the states mm -hmm. um it's so like a megazord like these combining robots and all that but yeah. he's pretty cool um but 
I, I wish someone would review that, but I think we're going to stick with the Gundams because I'm more of the Gundam guy anyway. Mm -hmm. But maybe somebody could review that down the road. Also, this isn't Gundam. No, this oh! one's a different series, but it's okay, a very okay. similar looking robot, okay. so mm -hmm. no one will hold it against you. It's like <laughs> Voltus 5. <laughs> oh, like Voltron. Do you know Voltron? No, 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 like Voltus 5, Voltron. You don't know Voltus 5. It, maybe it's a different name in, May the, in Philippines, the Philippines, maybe. maybe. <laughs> that might be it. We might be talking Voltron. about exactly the same show. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, Voltron was like, was that like oh, tigers okay. or something, like like cat looking robots, and then they transformed into a giant no. robot. Oh, maybe it's a different show then. I'll have to look that one up too. It might you be. Were talking about a different. It might be. We might be. We're gonna look this up la later and oh, find out. Oh, I thought it. I thought this one is from an old Gundam series, so it's really not Gundam. It's not Gundam. It's from an old series, but it's my not bad, Gundam. Bad. But that's okay. It's from Bandai as well, so oh, okay. you know they're all robots. Grand Sora. So I thought it was like Gundam Grand Sora. Uh, oh, there is no such thing. No, no, but that's okay. This is just the Grand Sora, and this is like Gundam stuff. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. But that's okay. No worries. And yeah. I think that's everything we have for this week. Okay, so you're building only this one. Yeah, I'm gonna build this one. Asuka's gonna build this one. So look out for reviews for both of these. I think I also have a review coming up for the NEP date that came out last week. Mm -hmm. So look out for that too. And, and like, how about the other kids? Do you know? What? I don't think anyone's doing these. I kind of hope someone will do one of these because these are really cool. Yeah, this is a really interesting kit. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, I'm more of a robot guy, so I kind of want somebody to do this one. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think Todd might also do an Iron Kong review at some point because he had this other really, really big kit that some of the uh, commenters wanted uh, a couple weeks ago, two weeks oh. ago. Somebody, uh, some commenters really wanted us to do that. So hopefully he has a review for that too soon. But yeah. other than <laughs> that, I think that is all for this week's uh, new releases. Yeah, I think that's all we have for today. Yeah, so uh, we will catch you next time. Take, take a look out for those reviews and like and subscribe. And we will see you next time on another Gunplot TV. Bye. See ya.